Very simple, people. Powers to be do not want my videos getting out. Okay? So make sure you watch on full screen all the time and check out the 6.4 in Java Indonesia. Now, the most important thing is to look how it built up. It's not an aftershock, it's actual big quake because basically they had a 6.0 before that, as you can see here, and then it went down a little bit and then it worked up to a 6.4. And that's just the page refresh and this page refreshes itself all the time. So this is the most recent and then we go down to what our biggest one is in Java, Indonesia. Okay, so we all know it's 2012, we know it's November. So here we go with what the rest is going on. New Guinea region getting it good. Now basically the most important thing is we live in the United States and there you go. Fiji, nothing new. Fiji's always deep. Now, well, the depth thing is to always to keep an eye on to what, see what's going on. Now, what I'm going to do is pop over and show you uh, and it, why I'm popping over. I'll tell you basically that we received a CME from the sun that was uh, off the sun. Luckily, it was light. The solar wind speed is up. Now, the red star means an explosion, okay, and at least a kilometer in depth, okay. Now, there is mining. Don't get me wrong on that. We do have mining, okay? Now, I got another map, and basically that, I, that I've showed you pretty much the agenda, uh, basically the uh, legend, okay? Now, it also shows up in Canada and out of the square box and everything like that. That's why I always tell everybody to think outside the box, okay? Now, actual factual, we're going to go ahead and click on some of these sites on another location on another map. Uh, I'll pop into this real fast at like, uh, we'll pop in at like 200 and... We'll scroll down one more time to the deal. And the most important is check these black spots out because basically they're very deep. And then the next map I'm going to show you is to, and then also some data. It's going to make you realize that we still have a lot of activity that basically nothing's going to sleep. And that basically that 8.5, which you originally did record at 8.5, and then an 8.1, you can see my earthquake maps. This is 36 to 64 kilometers deep, okay? And possibly could be above 65. It's just that you're really not ever going to know that because actually you're going to have to start looking for and actually there is a white one here. We are showing some white spots where basically it's telling you that we are getting earthquakes at below 65 kilometers deep. Okay, so you got to watch for that. Those are white ones are hard to see. And as you can see, you got up here, you got to blow it up here, bunch here, and you got explosions at one kilometer deep. Now there could be mining in the area. That's, there's no problem with that. I love gold miners. And... Uh, just remember, if someone's got a gold mining prospect, uh, it's their property, don't get caught trespassing, okay? So, uh, it's not a good idea to go up there and go, oh, are we really getting these? But we are actually getting quakes, okay? These are actual natural quakes. It's not from mining, it's not from, now don't get me wrong, some of the red ones that are at one kilometer, it could possibly be from mining. There's no, no problem with that, but we are getting a ton of earthquakes. And as you will see, this will match up with, and actually I need to move the map a little bit, and we'll see what's up in Canada here. If we do show the one kilometers deep, but we also show the 65 kilometers and deeper here. And then we all know that if I minus out the map big time, if I keep going, we're going to know that you know that we've had the big quakes out here. Okay. That was basically the 8.1 for darn sure, the two 7.7s. And then also my friends down in California too, if I have time in the future, you got to watch the quake that's going on uh, Mendocino straight out there's basically a uh, fault line out there that basically everybody in Mendocino needs to check as much information they can on the latitude and longitude of the quakes and, and start looking at the rivers in the ocean and the lakes in the area and the idea that what possibly could break up now when I zoom back into this uh, what do I do here to zoom okay I'm gonna pop zoom here if we pop back into this you're gonna realize what could go crumbling up in the Vancouver area and we move the map back and then you just get to see, you see pretty much all this is actually volcano activity every one of these I don't remember what the pink the purplish mauve ones are so we'll move down real fast and I'll be able to see the legend on the map but all this stuff is recent activity okay you see the red ones the bigger ones so it's at least one kilometer in depth okay and then I also believe uh, this is a good map here. We'll go check this one out because we'll go to the specific one, western one, and then we can click on a location and you'll see 
you'll get the like, okay, now it's going to be broadband, so you'll see that pop up. Hang on for recording time. And here we go, I got the data showing up on this one. So just realize that we are getting all this activity, okay? And then let me get something down around Mount St. Helens area. Now going to Mount St. Helens area. Short period, blue, strong motion, we don't have any, but broadband, they do have activity going on on Mount St. Helens here and here. Now, I don't know if I click on that, do I get to a map? Let's see if something comes up. Yeah, we do, we get it one. So they all work on clicking on it, and there you go. So there is activity going on at Mount St. Helens. Okay. So it's got a while to build because it's not as dramatic, but then again, Mount St. Helens last time, and we all know the history of Mount St. Helens, just all of a sudden, it's, a, it's active, it's alive, and whammo. Okay, so, and there's our engine on this map, folks. So you can go around and see what you want to see, and then basically, we have a lot of activity up in the Seattle area. Okay, so, and then the most important thing is, like I'm saying, you got to pay attention to where something would actually possibly crumble. And we'll get this one here, and basically you got activity, okay? So all the faults, areas that we know with their seismic activity is getting it, and it could get up and build in, in uh, nature, and it could die off. But as right now, as far as we know, nothing is dying down. It keeps building. Everything is building everywhere. And let's go back to, uh, remember, watch Mount Baker and... Mount Rainier area and stuff like that and we'll go in here and we'll get that one to read up and we'll also go to earth scope real fast here I'll minus down that record for a minute and we'll pop that back up in a minute we'll go see what we got going on what I'm caring about is New Madrid and also look see Minnesota's got a new fresh quake there so we got light lots of seismic activity we got lots of radiation and basically radiation loves to seek out its brothers and sisters of atoms in Earth's crust so Fuka Fudge didn't help anything folks it's not good for a lot of stuff and basically we'll take you down through this magnitude is right there of the quakes and you can see the area to the right I'll scoot over a little bit and we'll pop down through here and the New Madrid needs to everybody in everybody's location you just need to look at the graphs and see what's going on the Queen Charlotte Islands there and everything like that so we all know about that but a lot of America doesn't talk about all the, as you see it, Western Virginia, Kentucky, West Virginia, Kentucky, West Virginia, Southern Indiana, Minnesota, Southern Virginia, Indiana, Southern California, Nevada region, Illinois, Oklahoma, Iceland region. So you got to pay attention, and that's the magnitude there to the left, as I scoot up really fast, and as you see, that's the magnitude to the left, and then we go up and look at the map, and as you see, we got that quake there, and we bring it down, and you got a 2.3 magnitude quake up in Minnesota just recently, okay? There's your time frames there. There's all kinds of, and basically I have up here the links that you can go to. I don't have time to be cutting and pasting the links. I got a light. So people need to wake up and look and freeze and watch my videos and see what's going on on activity. You know, we'll look up in Canada, but also I have a Canada site that you can go to here. I'll see if i got time to pop that in, and we'll see. But, but this is, the New Madrid is very important, because basically you're getting it on this side and this side, and it's getting pinched. And then we also know the New Madrid fault line area is right. So you're getting it heavy on both sides, as you can see. And then basically, our, we've, I've seen Arkansas, 4.7 quake here in Arkansas, working up from 3.8s and 3.9s. So we put these uh, megs where to read these earthquakes for a reason. It's all actual, factual, scientific data. Okay, people still need to start paying attention and, and don't worry about uh, a big storm. Uh, basically, you need to pay attention to everything: the earthquakes, the storms, everything, ladies and gentlemen. The whole ball of wax. Here we got Mount Rainier's action. So there you go there. There's all the action at Mount Rainier and Mount Baker's got activity. We got all kinds of places of activity. So if you've seen me show you anything close on a map, that you need to wake up and realize that yes, folks. And let me pop this down to like 100, and you can realize that if you live in that area, you've got earthquake activity. Okay, you have earthquake activity. Okay.
you have earthquake activity. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you have earthquake activity. And then we got to go to the Canada site. And I'll give you what's going on up in Canada, and all this is true. And then it'll give you the you go by your depths here on. That's what the deep of the it's one kilometer deep on the explosions, and all this stuff is real. And yes, those white spots, 65 kilometers deep, ladies and gentlemen, quakes. The little white ones. See that white one there? White one there. Uh, draw the map down. There's a lot of white ones. White. Okay. And also the blacks are deep. Also, that's deep there. And also, all these are quakes. Everything. It's not showing you cities, folks. The cities are names. All the spots are quakes. Okay. Our solar winds picking up, but it wasn't that bad of an impact. But we do are feeling that impact. Okay. Impact jolts Earth polar magnetic field, yes, and then we get the sparkle, but the Pleiades is real bright as you can see from the guy's photo, and then there's Jupiter to the left. And you can see how bright these stars get, and basically that's the sun. And then we get that light, that energy from the supergiants and all those stars that are suns, folks. The star is a sun. And then you're starting to realize the nuclear activity that we have abound, too aboundful on Earth. Nuclear folks, okay? Gases are not that bad of a problem. It's the nuclear which is the problem. And yes, the Canadians have a beautiful earthquake site, okay? They got some real good streaming data, folks, right in front of everybody's eyeballs as soon as they go to the page, okay? Because you got one minute data up there, and you can go down and pick out all of your areas, and there's how much activity is going on in Northwest Territories. Earth is basically showing basically we'll go watch my last two videos about io and basically earth is a later part of what io is okay io is a baby earth okay it's got volcanoes on it it's building its atmosphere actually if you to take a bunch of seedlings and put a bunch of green on io you could make another earth it needs to have oxygen to create its atmosphere like we do and you go down and click on any of these cities like this here and you'll get a local map and it'll come up and show you the local area and it'll read it up there in Canada on the one minute line. They have a beautiful earthquake site and basically the USGS needs to get their head out of their ass and give us a better site like this. Because I can just click on a city and then you go up, it should, it should reload here in a second. And you can also just click on a balloon on the map and then it'll give you the local. So as you see there at Chalk River, there's a lot less activity. See, there's the solid ground areas and then there's some unsolid ground areas, okay? And I look at BC real fast, and I'm pretty sure you'll see a lot of activity of wherever it's at. So let me save some tape time and hit up. Now the good thing right now, we're not getting any electrical absorption, okay? We're down on zero. That's really good. That means that basically our atmosphere, but basically you gotta remember the volcanoes are what's helping us out, and also there is basically some of the chem trailing is overall for the whole masses of the of humanity it's actually a good thing as you see our solar winds going up a little bit you see the sun is going crazy and we are between neptune and venus right now okay a very rare occasion uh that we ever end up between venus and uh neptune as you see our aurora's off north pole's off a little bit and you got to pay attention to the magnetosphere basically this kind of shows what's going on but it actually it's been a little bit more dramatic than that watch two minute news like i say he goes through it a lot i don't have all video time in the world now our density was way high and it's now it's down and then basically our polar angle is going the opposite of what that went uh the polar angle wasn't that bad and then basically it's popped up a lot recently like i say we get over to bc we got more activity so there's a factual Remember, this page hadn't refreshed yet, and remember that basically you got to watch it all the time because you see here we're unsettled, okay? You can change that fast. Now, I can't get Magnetosphere to come up right now, as you can see, that basically you don't see because I was trying to get it to come up over here, and I can't get into the NASA thing because basically we're between Neptune and Venus right now, and more than likely uh, we're getting some crazy magnetical action, and basically these are the freshest shots of the sun, so like I told you, the sun's not going to calm down because the sun's going to be very iffy on communicating with earth so basically the electronical connection is going to make earth do a lot of magnetosphere action crazy and right now as i go down you've seen the polar angle there that i showed you there and i also see it in the aurorals so we got such wild action going on see that it's down because see the uh, cme plot is also down which shows us our coronal normally i would show you the coronal here so if they can't get in and i can't get in we have some, and you're going to get some quake action. We're going to end up with some quake.